Okay, cool. All right, everybody. Uh, what I'm going to review today, and I and I went over this little uh, very briefly at the very beginning of this call, but I'm going to show you a pop up to email automation that we use on Shopify for uh, one of my brands, so MorningMan.com, and I have one year's worth of data that shows total impressions, total opt ins for a ten dollar off coupon, and then a ten day email sequence that or seven day email sequence that shows you step by step each email when it goes out how everything does and the conversions for each one so there's considerable data and i want to give you just a little bit of context as well we don't uh we don't drive a lot of traffic directly to our shopify store mostly we get retargeted traffic there or organic traffic there. So a lot of our conversions that come there are warmer traffic, I feel. A lot of it comes from us driving Facebook, Instagram, Google, YouTube to a direct landing page, people checking it out and be like, what is this thing? Googling and then coming to our shop, okay? So this is a shop only uh, front main homepage and I got all the tools and everything that you're gonna have in order to need to actually make this happen. Okay, cool. All right, so I'm gonna start with the stats and then I'll show you what it is. So this is for all of 2023. We had 40,000 impressions and it generated 4,100 leads. Can you guys see this? You good? From there, we had 559 conversions at a 13.49% conversion rate. And then the revenue tracked to the code is 52,477, but the total revenue was 89,000. And we had a screenshot here to show you. The total is the difference between, so the, the total 89K that was tracked, that was tracked directly in the system, in the uh, pop-up tool called Optimunk. And I have the whole thing and I'll show it to you above. Don't worry, but... Um, there's a difference between the people that are opting in, getting the code, and then when they go to check out, if they don't necessarily use the code, they leave, they come back, and then it's still cookie to them. And so thus, we were able to track almost 90,000 in sales. Is, is this just one-time sales or is this lifetime value? Is this like over the course of the years, just front end? So this right here is front end. So this oh, is, wow. the, this, so this is, so this is the second. use. Yeah, I'll get to that here in a second. So this is the use of the coupon code at the one time. And then below, these are additional active campaign stats that we ge we generated from the email sequences. And we par and we paired back a lot of our emailing that we were that we were doing and we were testing various things. So I wasn't mailing every single day, but from what we did from these leads in particular generated an additional 12,000 after the fact. So roughly a hundred grand from this email sequence for 2023 alone. Cool. Nice. Okay. So all of this is going to be here for you to dive a little closer. All of this is, is there for any questions on any of that while I, before I show you exactly how it all, what it is. No. And I, Ian, I, I mentioned earlier today, and even you, Chris mentioned earlier that this is something you can plug and play. So uh, ideally you're going to want to give this to your team um, because it's a $10 coupon. So guys, if you have clients that are doing any kind of e-com, just from the base of what this is, pop up on page and the delay timer is, I believe, five seconds. Pop up on page, encouraging $10 off, and then the email sequence kicks in accordingly. Okay, cool. Scrolling up here. So this is the... Tools use Optimunk, and you can see that right here. Uh, just very straightforward and relatively low cost as well. I think pricing on this, uh, I think we use the 39 a month. Okay. Um, nothing crazy. All right. Next, I use Active Campaign for Morning Man. We mostly look to Entreport for our lists as you guys know, um, but with the volume that we were doing and have been doing on Morning Man and the list building, it didn't justify the revenue to, to match the deliverability positives for Entreport. So we hadn't moved over and have not moved over to them yet, but Active Campaign has accomplished everything that we've needed for this campaign. And then we use Shopify, pretty straightforward, okay? 
So I'm going to show you the pop-up first, and then I'll go into the email sequence. How am I doing on time, Robert? You have five minutes left. Okay. So understand that when you go to Morning Man, you can just go to morningman.com. I'm already cookied here, so it's not going to show again, but it'll pop up and it looks like this. Now understand, this is not necessarily the language that you're going to have, but this right here is a GIF. And if you've seen this GIF before, it's a kid putting stacks of cash all in his head. Like money, here's $10. Claim your discount before it closes in and it starts at three minutes. And when it ends, I believe the pop-up just closes if they just let the timer run down. And then I'm also using different types of language. Nah, I hate money. You guys probably wouldn't say that. However, speak in the language that makes sense to your audience, okay? And then when they do say claim here, and, and after showing this and actually going through this, I'm like, well, I could optimize this so, so, so many different ways. Have I? No. So yeah, that's fun. And so, but hey, at the same time, you, you, I'm just showing you what we've got. And I know we could pick apart how it can be better or it could be higher and, 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 and perform better. But at this point, this is what it is. Claim your coupon. And I also put kind of like some, some, uh, uh, yeah, so, so some notes here for each one. Step one, five seconds, and it pops up on the page. Step two, and you can, again, go to morningman.com and you could see this live uh, as well. Submit info and claim coupon. So then I have another GIF of like, you know, again, the language is so outlandish, but it works for us because it works for the guys that we're marketing to, okay? Um, and literally how inappropriate or appropriate for them. We will only spam you with $10 coupon and links to our OnlyFans account. You're welcome. So again, very, it's intentional to entertain, okay? Then once they submit their email, because we don't do name and email because all of our, uh, we don't say, hey, name in any of our emails. We say, hey, brother. And that's just how we always uh, start our emails. So we didn't need uh, a name there. Um, and then once they submit it, they have this $10 coupon, use this code at checkout for $10 off. Now go shopping and you click this and then it uh, essentially removes the pop-up and then it applies the coupon. Um, and anybody that leaves or opens a new browser or whatever that obviously doesn't necessarily credit it if they take the if they don't buy it right then and there or use the coupon right then and there. Then it starts the seven day buyer sequence. Okay. Any questions on any of that so far? As far as the pop up goes and the strategy, yeah, we got yeah two minutes left. Thank you. Any questions on any of that? Anybody? Yeah, the only question I have is you know I guess what I'm seeing is you had a sales page morningman.com and then you added this coupon and you've measured what you're earning from the coupon. How does that compare overall in conversion rate to the sales page before you added the coupon? It's, so it's, it's not a sales page. It's our, it's our shop. So it's okay. the full, it's our Shopify store. Okay. And so the, we are making this, I'm not, I, I don't have the data to, to compare to the overall shop uh, conversions, but I know that we usually average around three to 4%, um, as it's warmer traffic, um, on our shop. Okay. Um, but I don't have like taking this away, what particularly that does to our conversions on the shop comparatively, but this is a, a, sh an e-com, um, pop-up. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. And I, I, I haven't necessarily used this in a, um, I haven't used this on our uh, sales pages because our sales pages typically have greater discounts or they have different pricing than our shop because our shop is usually priced higher than what we have with our specific direct response funnels. And so adding an additional $10 off those, which are already discounted, cuts into our margins pretty significantly. Makes sense. Thank you. So now the email sequence, this is something that you would trigger automatically. And then you would, and then you would essentially tag it to them. But then um, you would, you would then stop the sequence or cut the sequence um, once they bought. Okay, 
Um, essentially just a reminder, here's here's the code. This is goes out immediately. Um, and yeah, and then we have a first one is just here's your code. Next one, day one is uh, funny testimonial. And this is just something of a testimonial that you can use. In, so literally this is a testimonial that somebody on our site wrote and we just kind of anchored to, to that with the humor, but you can anchor to, you know, any one of your products, anything that you're, that you're currently doing. Um, but use this as a testimonial oriented email. Then you, then I look to, and, and each email basically is a component of the sales process. So we go from, here's your coupon, here's a testimonial, here's a money back guarantee. And it's always a reminder of like, use your coupon. Okay. Um, so like here is then if by now day three, they haven't bought, maybe they don't know about other products. So then we talk about the full collection. Okay. Other products, other things that we have shirts. We also have non-caffeinated, we have supplements, so on. Then we have another testimonial. So we're just pouring out more assets and just more reminders to them. Um, and then six gives a nudge about quit procrastinating. So you can encourage them if you're looking at, um, even Chris, if you're talking about, you know, we're not getting any older. And so if you want to say, hey, now's your chance to, you know, take advantage of and and really get the elixir that's going to turn back the clock. And, and you can talk about, you know, the urgency to to transform your mind, body, soul. And, and that would be just an urge-based email. Okay. And then uh, we have this uh, coupon code expires. You can set the coupon code to have a certain expiration. If you can attach a cookie directly within the system, um, this is a more customized thing that, that uh, you know, we were able to, to figure out a couple of years ago, year ago, or whatever. I don't have an idea on how it actually works, um, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can, I can figure that out and get back to you if you have any questions on that. But again, this has, uh, real scarcity on it. Um, but it's also one of those things that you can let them know that this lasts for a week and that this is, or, you know, give them a heads up, but this is going to end soon. Just as much as you have an abandoned cart sequence, it says your cart is going to expire. The cookie's going to expire those types of things, but we just remind them, uh, hey, last chance, very straightforward kind of a um, urgency end to the sequence. And that is the whole thing. How am I in time? Hey. Yay.